happy about doing some Iron Maiden, a little bit from the uh, Power Slave song. I love Iron Maiden. I grew up with these guys. Fantastic. Steve Harris, one of my favorite bass players of all time. Anyway, I am Finbar, Finbar Bass. Um, please click on my little clicker box right down there if you want some uh, free bass lessons that are not on YouTube at all. And um, let's roll right into some Steve Harris. Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Yeah! All right, so the first thing that you got to figure out with this is that little triplet feel. Um, I actually play bass with three fingers. As you can see, there's the three. So uh, triplets come actually really easy to me. It's just bump. See, I'm just rolling through my fingers. Now, if you play with two fingers, <clears throat> it would just, it, you could still do it just as easily. That's all it is right there. It's a little gallop. So it doesn't really matter how many fingers you play with or if you play with a pick you can still play this song anyway um what you're gonna be doing in the beginning of this song right you're gonna be doing a little gallop on the open a string and then you're gonna hit the third fret of the a just like this or with two fingers and a lot of people think steve harris plays with three fingers but i believe he plays with just two and he uses kind of like, I think he might have been the first bass player that I've ever seen that used kind of like a floating thumb technique. Looks like his just arm is just, when he plays bass, is just flat plopped right on the strings and the thumb isn't anchored anywhere. I always thought that was really interesting and a great way to uh, mute the strings too. And he plays with flat wound, wound, and he plays with flat wound strings. So he doesn't hurt his fingers up so bad because he plays like a monster. Anyway. And then you're going to hit the first fret after galloping on the A of the A string. All right, and then you're going to hit the open A again. And then you're going to move up to the seventh fret. You're going to hit the open A, and then you're going to do this little ditty here. <clears throat> on the, starting on the seventh fret of the uh, G string. And that open A I said that you hit, you can uh, let that ring out. It will sound like this which you might feel like is part of the charm, or you might want to mute it. Just like that. But anyway, you're going to play the open A, and then what this is here is you're starting on the 7th fret of the G, then going to the 6th, and then back to the 7th. This has a very uh, Middle Eastern sort of feel to it, which uh, works along great with the lyrics of this song. Um, and then you're going to go up to the 9th fret, right? And then back to the 7th fret. And then I do this little trill here. I think I detect them doing a trill uh, from the 6th uh, to the 7th and back to the 6th. So it looks like this. It's kind of hard to get the feel of that trill when you do it slow, but I'll, I'll try. Just like that. So basically what it is is I'm hitting the 6th uh, fret and then I'm hammering on to the seventh and then pulling off. And then I'm hitting the uh, eighth fret of the uh, D string. Now, sometimes when I see people play this, they play the, um, instead of playing the eighth fret, they play the seventh. Just like that. And uh, that doesn't sound like to me what's going on, but who knows? All right, now the next part that you'll see in this are, um, he plays some chords. <clears throat> and um, he switches, switches this up all the time. He's played it different throughout the years and in concert, but I'm just going to give you the basic right here. You're going to play a power chord, which of course Iron Maiden, so lots of power chords. You're going to hit the, you're going to be hitting on the seventh fret of the A string, and then uh, with your pointer finger, and then your two, uh, your third finger and your pinky, are going to be on the ninth fret of both the uh, G string and the D string. All right, just like that. You take that same pattern and you move it up to the third fret of the A string. So, and then you go to the fourth fret actually of the E string, same pattern. Oops. Just 
like that. Now when I play this, it may look like, like say here, that first chord, it may look like I'm actually hitting the uh, E, but I'm not playing the E at all. What that finger is doing is it's actually muting the E, so it, so it doesn't ring out. You could do that actually. That's a bad example because that's an E right there. And on the seventh. But then when you bring it back down to the third, for instance, see how crappy that sounds? Uh, this is when you're on the third fret and then the fifth fret. So my finger automatically, just from playing, goes there and, uh, and mutes that uh, E string. So instead of, you get, even if I accidentally hit on the E string, you don't really hear it. Uh, and then the fourth of the E. And when I'm playing that, believe it or not, my this finger, like the other side of my knuckle, is actually muting the uh, G string. But you know what, if you're just starting out and you're, and you're doing this as a beginner, don't even worry about that. Just try and get these power chords down and strengthen your finger. So. Just like that. So what you're going to do there is you're going to start off on the uh, seventh fret of the A string and you're going to do the gallop again. Right? And if you want, you could do that little flourish that I showed you there. Uh, you're, you're basically putting in the chords that are left out on the um, power chord there. Um, the ninth fret on the G and the ninth fret on the uh, D. Right? Just like that. And then you're going to go to the gallop on the third fret. And then the fifth fret. Just like that. Right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to be hitting the uh, fifth fret of the D string followed by the seventh fret of the A string. So it's one hit on the um, fifth fret of the D string, and then you're going to go to the seventh fret of the A string. Just like that. And some people play this here. But I like it here. See that? That's the rhythm. I'll do it slow. Oops. And then the next part is really cool. You're going to be hitting four hits and you're going to be climbing from the fourth fret to the fifth and then to the seventh. Just like that. But it's very, very fast when he plays it. Just like that. So. Just like that. And then after that, you descend back down. So you're going from the um, fifth fret to the fourth fret on the D, and then back to, of course, the seventh fret on the A. So that whole thing. And then it goes back into the. Just like that. All right, got some Steve Harris up in that for you. Yeah, Power Slave, Iron Maiden, awesome song, awesome band. Uh, we'll call that part one, and um, in the future, maybe I'll do a little bit more of when you start soloing up in that and teach the rest of it. But anyway, I'm Finbar of Finbar Bass. Um, please click on my little clicker box right down there if you want some free lessons that aren't on YouTube at all, or you could also uh, click on my Finbar Bass uh, YouTube channel if you want some, some more of these uh, tutorials. Other than that, Thank you so much for listening and have fun with that freaking spandex song, Iron Maiden Steve Harris. Yeah!